Blessed and happy Tuesday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans. Today is October 15, 2024, Tuesday within the 28th week in Ordinary Time, Year B. Our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, verses 37 to 41. In today's gospel, Jesus is reminding us the true meaning of purity and cleanliness. And Jesus denounced the hypocrisy of the Pharisees by emphasizing the importance of outside appearance. And he told them, and I quote, You Pharisees clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside you are filled with greed and wickedness. End of the code. You know, in our life, what count is the inside, not the outside. It's not the beauty of the face. It's not about the looks, but it's all about the kindness of our heart that matter most. It's not about the figure of our body, but the purity of our heart that counts our world nowadays you know if you notice our world put value and premiums on the importance of outside appearance even if you apply for a job one of the requirements is or some requirements are at least you have a pleasing personality the friends do not allow the world to define your beauty. For our world is blind to the real definition of beauty. Do not think that you are good looking and attractive if your heart is dirty. Remember this. Beautiful people are not always good. But good people are always beautiful. Today, let us internalize our externals. Inner cleansing demands conversion by getting rid of hypocrisy, dishonesty, and pretensions. Remember this, my dear friends. Outer beauty attracts, but inner beauty captivates. Be careful because appearance can be deceiving. The devil can disguise as an angel, you know, of light. If we want to be attractive, we need to develop a good relationship with Jesus. If you wanted to be good looking, look gorgeous and amazing, we need to clean ourselves both in and out. Our beauty is nothing if our character is evil, our expensive clothes is worthless if we don't have the manners. But the friends, what I'm trying to say is this. The gospel is reminding us that ritual cleanliness must be accompanied by moral uh, uprightness. It's good to ask ourselves today, why do we do what we do do we do what is do we do what is considered correct or simply because we wanted to be look good and want to impress others let me end my reflection by saying this holiness is not a beauty pageant if we wanted to be beautiful if we wanted to be looking good let us practice the habit of alms giving let us practice sharing our bread to the hungry. We need to clothe the naked. We need to feed the homeless. Because these things, the corporal works of mercy, are what makes us beautiful. Friends, do it not to seek attention. Do it not to seek for applause or impression. But do it to please the Lord. Again, let me remind myself and you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, 
that holiness is not a beauty pageant. Let us internalize our external because outer beauty attracts but inner beauty captivates. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends, share it with your family, make the word of God viral so that many will be blessed. Amen.